What's up you guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for joining me in today's video. And today's video is going to be about the beginner's guide to influencing. And I'm going to be telling you all about how I started to become an influencer. So let's start with the first question and answer that everybody needs to know. What is an influencer? What is an influencer? I don't know. Like, what is an influencer? Like, what is it? It's a person that influences? Like, what is an influencer? So my definition of an influencer is completely different to what other people have to say an influencer is. But the technical definition of an influencer is a person that promotes brands through their own creative way. Now, let me take you through my own definition of what an influencer is. Now, an influencer doesn't need to be drop-dead gorgeous or have a certain type of body shape. An influencer is not somebody who has daddy's and mommy's money and who likes to post pictures in their Ferraris, you know, expensive cars, expensive houses and shoes that they bought at this price or whatever. That is not an influencer. That is you just clearly showing off on social media about your lifestyle. Influencing is not about just posing with this outfit, you know, putting on this makeup. Influencing takes a lot of hard work. It's dedicating 100% of your time towards creating content. So now that we've covered the question, what is an influencer? Let's move on to how I became an influencer. So at this stage, I was already on 4,000 to 5,000 followers on my Instagram. The reason why is because I had linked my Facebook to my Instagram and I was quite popular on Facebook due to doing a whole lot of pageants and modeling. Influencers today become actors, actresses, entrepreneurs. And at this stage as well, I had no idea what influencing was. I didn't know it, it existed. So a friend of mine actually was over for like dinner or whatever. And then she was talking to me about her friend that gets free products for just posting and advertising for a company. And I was like, what? You can do that? And the reason why I decided to become an influencer because... Back when I was younger, the dream was to become a fashion model and that wasn't possible because I was under height and I decided to use social media as a platform to build my career as a model, as an advertiser. So I was like, you know what? I can do this too. Like I can do it, you know? Because if you look at influencers today, people will have an opinion and say, oh, influencers don't have any talent, you know? Like what do they just do? Like just post pictures? like. What's your talent? Like, what is it? Social media influencing is not just about you posting pictures. It's about your personality. It's about you going out there and engaging with people. So once I decided, okay, let me try out the social media influencing thing. I fixed up my social media. I went to Facebook, I changed my profile picture. I did all of that stuff. I took some new pictures on Instagram. I posted some decent content you know and most importantly when you first start off there are certain hashtags that you need to use like to gain more followers and to reach more audience and stuff like that you need to have that hashtag like for like hashtag follow for follow you know what i'm saying maybe if you see um a brand or something that you want to collaborate with maybe tag them in a post like if you have bought your own adidas uh, track pants or whatever and you're posing for a picture tag adidas or whatever you know then they might like see your pictures and approach you you know and that's what you have to keep on doing you have to put yourself out there you have to be brave you have to you know you can't sit back and be like oh no what if this company says no you know what if they don't like me don't have that attitude girl don't so because I was only on 5,000 followers, I would reach uh, smaller brands and smaller companies and send them emails and propose a possible collaboration. So start approaching brands once your profile is mwah, just start approaching brands, send them emails. If they say yes, 100% thumbs up. If they say no, just move on to the next. And here's a tip. As your followers increase, you approach bigger brands. Anyway guys, thank you so much for joining me in today's video. This was part one of the beginner's guide to influencing. If you would like to check part two and part three out, just 
put on your notification bell and subscribe you know share this video with someone who might be interested in influencing come on guys as women we need to support each other don't be envious like come on just subscribe